hello, I'm Howard Martin, and I'm here today with my good friends and colleagues, Lynn Twist, Deborah Rosman, and Roland McCready. And we're gonna talk a little bit about this upcoming event. Uh, it's the Global Coherence Initiative annual virtual event sponsored by the HeartMath Institute. And this year's title is Unleashing the Power of Collective Heart Intention. If it's anything like the events we've had in the past, it's gonna be an amazing experience. And what I'd like to do now is to invite, you know, Deborah, Roland, and, and Lynn to talk a little bit about what they're going to be speaking about. So Debbie, you'd like to start first? Sure, I'm happy to. Thank you, Howard. Well, last year, the event was inspiring as well as deeply heart connecting for all of the participants. I think we had almost a thousand people connecting. But what was the most exciting thing was the heart connection of intention. Everybody was together to really do what we're going to talk more about this year. How do you unleash the power of the collective heart? How do you harness the power of collective heart intention? What does that mean and how do we activate it? And we're going to be talking about that. I'm going to be sharing some exercises for manifesting the power of collective heart intention and also for your personal intention. If you, how do you want to manifest change or the next steps in your own life? And some of the key aspects for the planet are really how do we take a heart stand instead of mind reactions and mind stance with what's going on? And I know Lynn Twist has inspired me about that and what she does, and I'm sure she's going to talk about that too. And then what is the power of compassion and compassionate latitude in these times? And how do we have more compassionate communication? Because this is part of the power. It's not just sweet things to do. It really is the power of activating and unleashing the heart on the planet. So I'm really excited to share all that and also an exercise on how do we create turnarounds when we are low. And Patricia Van Pelt on Sunday is gonna be sharing a deeply inspiring story of how she has done that as an Illinois State Senator and how it changed the whole energetics of the Illinois State Senate. So come on and share yourself and tune on in and learn some new skills. Mm. <laughs> How about you, Lynn? What's up? Uh, so glad well, you can be with us this year on this event. It's wonderful to have you. Yeah, yeah. it's wonderful to be with HeartMath. I love HeartMath. I love everything that we do at HeartMath. And I love the the global coherence um, field that we're building and that, um, that you all have initiated and uh, sourced, really. Um, and I, I'm... Uh, I'm going to talk about several different things and we'll see, you know, always unfolds in the moment, but, um, you know, we're living at a time of epic, epic crisis and the epic crisis can create a discouragement in your, in your heart. It, you're, you, you find a lot of people in despair and, uh, and resignation and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, kind of paralyzed almost into kind of apathy and uh, this event is going to break us all out of that. No matter where you are in the spectrum, maybe you think you're totally energetic and vital, but there's more to do. There's more to go. There's more uh, depth to express. And for people who are in any way discouraged, you know, this word discouragement is really being disconnected from the heart. That's what mm -hmm. that means, discouraged, disconnected from our courage, from that which is... Um, courage the, the the heart itself is from whence we vision from whence we connect from whence we realize we are one family and um so i'll be sharing some beautiful prophecies from indigenous people that have talked about this time in history and those prophecies uh you know there there are stories that have been passed down for millennium uh, and some people would say, well, you know, what about those things? Who, who said that? And I really say that those kinds of prophecies that have gone from generation to generation to generation for thousands of years have a real fruition right now because they're about this time in history, this, this critical turning point. So I'm going to be talking about that. I'm going to be talking about the power of transformation, uh, the power of possibility, uh, the power of vision, um, and um, and obviously how to connect in that beautiful coherence that the heart math is all about, our hearts, because nothing, nothing, as challenging as our times are, nothing is more powerful 
than the interconnectivity of the heart, compassion, care, and collaboration. Well, it's beautiful, Lynn. I'm looking forward to hearing that myself. It's going to be wonderful. So, Roland, what's up with you? I know you're going to bring some really cool science into the program again this year, and I'd love to hear what you're going to talk about. Well, as the director of research at HeartMath, I, I can't help it. I've, always, I've got to talk about science. And uh, Lynn, I love what you just said at the ending of, of what you were talking about, because that's exactly what I'm going to be covering, is the, the science of interconnectivity, energetic interconnectivity. I mean, I think uh, how many times have I heard my friend say or said myself, on some level, we're all connected, right? Well, what we're doing uh, is putting science to that and really showing some profound ways that we're interconnected that are beyond what I would have expected that we could ever prove scientifically. And one of my goals every year on this event, that's because this is the, uh, an event for the Global Coherence Initiative, is to share the latest, newest uh, science. Uh, in fact, it's the first uh, unveiling, usually, of the newest stuff. And I, I do have some new stuff this year. We'll also cover some basics, because there's a lot of people, this will be their first time coming to the event. So we'll connect all the dots. And then, uh, for those that have been here before, uh, unveil some of the new stuff, some new findings, which is showing, again, uh, another way of, of interconnectivity. And I'll give a little bit of hints here. And that when we group, when we gather together in groups and we establish a relationship, an emotional connection that, that actually forms a group field that connects us all. And we're starting to see that reflected now in the actual physiological data of these groups have come together and work together being synchronized. Um, and even, even some non-local synchronization across groups that uh, we'll be able to talk about. So that'd be one of my, one of the topics I talk about. And uh, also one of our, our uh, uh, colleagues here at HeartMath, uh, uh, Nakam, um, as a, a computational physicist, uh, is going to be sharing some of the um, new stuff we're doing for the Global Consciousness Project, which we're the new home for. So that, that'll be an exciting presentation as well. So day one will really be Science Day. It'll be Irvin Laszlo and myself and, and Nakam and, and Howard uh, will also be uh, telling us why it all matters in that, that day as well. It's going to be cool, Roland. Yeah, I'm going to talk about at the very beginning. I think I'm one of the first speakers. I'm going to talk about why heart connection matters in the first place. You know, uh, the connection we have with our own heart, the heart connections we have with others, heart connection we have with the world. And I'm going to take that into proposing uh, some considerations about what our real mission is in life, both individually and collectively. And the later on in the program, I'm going to talk about raising our vibration, which to me is a key in manifesting the changes we want in our life and in contributing to the changes that we want to see in the world. Um, so all that will be put together. Roland mentioned Nockham, another scientist will be with us. Uh, Irvin Laszlo, who's an iconic leader in the field of transformation for so many years as a part of this. Uh, Debbie mentioned Patricia Van Pelt Scott, Illinois State Senator. She's done amazing work with helping the underserved. Uh, we also have Dylan Brooks, Dylan is a younger speaker. He's a, a social media star and uh, talks a lot about becoming a citizen scientist. So you put all that together and you have a lot of speakers. But for me, the, the coolest part about this whole event is the feeling that it has, the connection that it has. Roland mentioned the feel it was created. Lynn alluded to it. Debbie alluded to it. And it just feels great to be with people from all around the world who are in this exploration process together for these three days from half a day each day from um, March 31st through April 2nd. And so it's the feeling, it's the connection that creates the lift in spirit and lift in our vibration that I think is the, is the main outcome that an event like this actually has. And so I'd love again to hear from, from any of you, from Debbie or Lynn or, or Roland, about what type of feeling you want to help create in this experience and what you've experienced in the past from uh, being a part of these programs. Howard, one of the things you said about the experience of lifting your vibration in this collective field of love, really, heart energy and compassion just oils the conduits and being able to activate these heart qualities together is a key for a foundation for manifestation. We don't just stop at the feeling. It's like, what are we going to do with this interconnectivity, with this heart connected energy? It's out of that that the exercises we'll be sharing with you that we'll be doing together can really facilitate the next level of transformation in your life individually and collectively, creating a reservoir of this hard energy that 
you'll be able to draw on once you leave the event because it doesn't just end there. It's how do we keep building this reservoir and building it throughout the planet through the tools and through the understandings we all gain and have that experience that can regenerate itself. And that's what I experienced last year. And I'm so excited about us building on that this year and the potential for humanity as we understand the science of this and how we can create this together and, and really accelerate this shift into higher connection and care that we all want. I'll just say too, that there's um, you know so many precedents and histories of dark times that turned into the light and that every breakdown in history that, that was significant was followed by a, a, a breakthrough that's bigger than the breakdown. And I think that's true of the times we're living in. And this event will plant the seeds and water them for the breakthrough that is inherent in the breakdown that we're experiencing. You know, the indigenous people say, this is not happening to us. This is all happening for us. And it's challenging us to step up, to evolve, to uh, step in, step out, step up, not step back or not step out, but step into uh, into life more fully and, and do it together. It's almost like, you know, I have this vision of us holding hands and in kind of jumping into the fray together, knowing that we can rely on each other and that resilience is one of the most powerful human attributes that's rooted in love, love for life, love for the earth, love for future generations, love for the power of the vitality of being alive at this epic time in history. So I feel the oneness in the four of us is, you know, when you speak, Deborah, I, like, it's like, yeah, and when Robert speaks, yeah, when Roland speaks, it's there, it's not that we all are agree, it's that we're in a kind of universal song that's coming through with different notes and different harmonies, but it blends, and it's one song, it's universal, uh, so I'm thrilled to be part of this. That's wonderful. You know, I've uh, really enjoyed what, what uh, both Debbie and Lynn, what you've said, and you, know, you both mentioned love. And uh, actually, the subtitle of my, my presentation on the first day is how love connects us. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're really, really starting to show that, that love is that energetic that connects us. And, and what's amazing that it can even happen non-locally uh, in a way that we can actually measure and see scientifically. You know, and I think science is, for many people, um, well... The new religion might be a way of saying it, um, but it, it's so powerful in a lot of people's lives that uh, that's why we have to have the science, I think, to really show that what, what kind of a saying that's emerged now out of the global coherence work is uh, being responsible for what we're feeding the field because it matters. And I think that's really uplifting when people really understand that every individual is contributing to the field. Uh, it doesn't matter how much money you make or what, you know, your station in life. We all equally contribute to the field. And the more coherent we are, the more coherent of a signal we're able to put into the field. And uh, really, uh, what we feed the field does matter in that we can, when we come together collectively, that is amplified and really can make a, make a change and help transform the, the consciousness of the world. You know, one of the things that I'm experiencing in the moment, which is, is wonderful as we're having this conversation, is the love I'm feeling right now. You know, mm -hmm. The connection and the love that I'm feeling you know, in this moment right, right here. And recognizing that as we get into the event itself, how much that amplifies, you know, through the interactions we're having with all the people who are part of the event, the other speakers that are going to be a part of this. And an event like this is informative. It's practical. It's applicable. There are many things that will be shared and taught. There are exercises, tools, and techniques to help to manifest more of the, the qualities of the heart and the intelligence of the heart in our daily lives. And at the end of it all, it's all about how we all feel, you know. And if we all walk away with this feeling that I'm having now of an amplified love, then I think we'll have had a, a very successful event again this year. And that's my hope is that uh, that's what we're going to do. I see no reason why it won't happen. Anything else any of you would like to say before we close out our little time? Please together? join us. Please join us and tell everybody, you know, to join <laughs> us because it's going to be awesome. 
<laughs> what the more together, the more we co-create this new energy and we're all waking up to more and more possibilities and want to have everyone who feels drawn be part of that co-creation. I'll echo Lynn, please join us, please join us. <laughs> yeah, be with us for this event and, uh, and it'd be wonderful to have you there. So I hope you can join. But in the meantime, I'd like you to um, please take care of good of yourself and especially take care of each other. And we'll all see you again soon. Bye for now. Take care, everyone.